I'm Shanae, and this is my crazy family. It's been over a year since we've seen any family, and with a new baby on the way, we're missing them loads. But the next best thing was having a friend who is like family come to visit. We had some work, some play, and one very terrifying night. Watch all the chaos go down this week, and don't forget to join the fam and subscribe. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Our channel really is an ifo. And we're doing makeup? for a special occasion. It's Nonina's birthday today, and this is her second birthday in lockdown. She's in Toronto, they've just been locked down again, and this brings up a lot of emotions for me because her last birthday, um, I had booked her a trip to LA, and we were gonna take- Be a Bowie. Be a Bowie. We were gonna take Bowie to Disneyland for the first time, which was like a really big deal because I loved Mickey Mouse and Disney so much growing up, and we got locked down two weeks prior to that trip. Her flights got canceled to be rescheduled. We at the time thought we would be rescheduling naively, pretty quickly and now it's been an entire year since that trip was booked and she still hasn't seen Bowie and all of that. Anyway, we're gonna have another birthday on FaceTime for Nonina. She's actually with my Nonna, so it's a bees Nonna and a Nonina phone call. Come baby, come, we're calling Nina for real. She's just calling her on the eyeshadow palette. Here, you wanna sit up here? Are we gonna call Nina? Hello. Hello. Hi, Bella. Hi, Bella. Are you going to say happy birthday to Nina? No. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. We miss you. FaceTime died, but we had a lot of fun playing with them for a little while, hey? We had some birthday cake. <laughs> it was as good a birthday celebration for Nonina as possible, virtually from different countries. But next year, I'm hopeful we will be able to reunite in person. Well, before then, but we'll actually be able to be with my mom on her birthday. That's a good, that's a good goal, right? Mm. Yes. <laughs> Just got out of the shower. My skin is so angry and I have to get ready because Bowie is going down for a nap very shortly and Josh is going to shoot me for Entrepreneur Mindset Magazine. It's like a digital magazine and they've asked me to be on the cover which is super cool. They've had like really cool people on the cover already including Mark Cuban, like the shark from Shark Tank Mark Cuban. Um, really like, incredibly impressive entrepreneurs and for whatever reason they have asked me to be on the cover and have like a little photo spread and interview in the magazine and so josh is going to take a bunch of pictures of me just like portrait style in our garage studio at nap time so yeah let's let's get ready anymore I used to all the time but I just thought fuck it I may as well go more glam than usual I have an excuse to why not gotta get dressed because this is not a look for entrepreneur mindset magazine nothing fits so figure maternity jeans are a good place to start and then I don't know, I feel like I should do like a blazer situation and then I kind of also think it would be cute to do like 
a photo of me on my laptop like in my bathrobe or something like that because that's more realistic to how I actually lead my entrepreneurial life <laughs> as a work from home mom. <laughs> Their little blazer look. Just something a little different, a little less basic black and white. Josh is putting Bowie to sleep, so as soon as he's done and down, he's gonna set up the lights. Not in the mood to have my picture taken right now, but we have to do it. <laughs> and Bowie woke up, so she's just. Hi, Bar. Not me. This is rock and roll. This is real life. is quiet. Josh is putting Bowie to bed and normally we do this together but she has been struggling to go down lately so I feel like I just have to bang this out on my own tonight. It's fine because he lived in Italy for a while so I feel like he's a few steps ahead of me but basically one of the new things we're trying to incorporate into our nighttime routine most days is learning a new language. We're trying to learn Italian. This video is being sponsored by Babbel, the number one language learning app in the world that has over 10 million subscriptions. So you know this works. It better work because my grandma, as you saw in probably the previous clip, um, is Italian, in case you didn't gather that. She's from Italy. The thick accent might have been a giveaway. She just turned 89, so it's been a long time, but she has lived in Italian communities the entire time she's lived in Toronto, so she's been able to get away with really relying on her Italian more heavily than her English. And now that she's getting older, she's losing a lot of her English. Now I can just see her memory starting to frustrate her a lot when we're having conversations, which breaks my heart. Long story short, I'm using Babbel to learn Italian slowly but surely. This app is seriously amazing. It's so easy to incorporate it into your daily routine because all you need is like 10 to 15 minutes a day. And it's been proven that you can pick up a new language in just three weeks by doing 10 to 15 minutes a day. So I'm committing to this. I'm using the app and I'm just using programs on my phone, but they also have live classes now. So you can tune into live classes for an additional fee, or you can just sign up for them as standalones. Another thing that's wicked is you can learn from anywhere on the go. You can download classes so you don't need Wi-Fi. And we have a road trip coming up in like about a week. I'm going to be having a lot of hours in the car, so I'm going to download a bunch of stuff and hopefully be able to like power through some of this while we're in the car. They have a great promotion on right now where you buy six months and you get six months free. It's an awesome deal because it's basically 50% off an entire year of their classes and access to their app and all the other amazing resources that they have. Enough blabbing. I need to get babbling. Don't make fun of me. Okay. I'm learning. Buongiorno, signor Rossi. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. 27 out of 27. That's my 15 minutes done. I'm gonna do it again tomorrow. Like I said, I am so committed to this. If you guys are interested, I will leave a link down below in the video description where you can start your language learning journey with Babbel. Don't forget, if you buy six months, you get six months free. So, I mean, why wouldn't you do that? Buonasera, signor Peach. What do you think of that? That was good. I've already had dinner, but thank you very much. This <laughs> is not what I said. I thought you lived in Italy for months. I did. I know what you said, really. What did I say? Good night. Good evening. Yes. Same difference. Can you see 
We're on Tornado Watch, but I think they get that quite a lot here. It's not looking good. <laughs> So this is now the second night, but first full day of like mad Tennessee storms. The storm is coming in, we just had an alert. We had tornado warnings yesterday. Tornado warnings this morning that we woke up to. Say hi. Hello. Sinead woke up, put her helmet on. Yes I did. I'll insert that picture right now. Bam. And Bo's not phased by it, are you? I love it, Elsa. Yeah, show your Elsa dress. Come here. Yay! We ordered this alarm radio thing that just got here today. Like perfect timing. Oh, and we've got a warning on there now. And it says storm warning. So at least it doesn't say tornado warning right now. How are you feeling, Sheenie? I don't know. Nervous? A little bit. I'm nervous. Uh, what can you do? We're not used to it, are we? No, we're not. Doing a little rearranging in the garage because we just got a severe weather warning that we should expect damage to vehicles. So we're going to try and squeeze both of our cars into this garage. It is a very large garage. The gym takes up a decent portion of it. Lots of space, but as you can see, our cars are a lot bigger than they look. Really, they take up so much space. So hopefully, Josh can get mine in now. Good job. That's right, that mummy, that's hail. So, here we are. A delicious piece of pizza and strawberries. <laughs> Storms here now. Not the best weather for a barbecue, I don't think. And the little handy dandy radio thing I ordered has already gone off. At 11 a.m. Central Daylight Time, Saturday, the stage was 14.6 feet and rising. Yeah, that flash flood morning and severe thunderstorm warning. Ooh, heard that one. Did you guys hear that one? Poor little Frankie. Come here, Frankie. Come here, girl. Oh, doggies ate it, didn't they? Let's get you a treat. Or a treat. Huh? Okay, Let's see what happens. You get both? Alright then. Oh. What are we gonna do? Oh look! You see the dry enormous lake that's in our backyard? It's so yucky! <laughs> wow! Next round here, bud. Boom, 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 boom. Tip it, bud. I just got my nails done and I just got a message from 
Miss Annalyn McCord because she touched down at Nashville Airport. She's gonna come stay with us. We're gonna have a really nice, fun family and friends weekend. This is the first time Annalyn's ever stayed with me in the like 13, 14 years that we've known each other. I am so excited. We have not had our family come and see us and this is like the next best thing. I see a curly hair girl. Hi! <laughs> Welcome! I was to see my boo! Yay! Yahoo! Hi! Oh my god, I love you so much! Oh. One of the wonderful benefits of having Anna Lynn in town is that Bowie has a new babysitter. <laughs> hello, ladies! Well, hello! <laughs> I am friend, and this is Bowie. <laughs> I don't have a name, um, but I, I'm cool with friend. It's very endearing. Uh, friend and Bowie are playing picnics. Bowie, was mommy invited to the picnic? No, Bowie. I I'm by horsey by two. Horsey by two? Okay, so mommy's got to leave and bring the horse with her. set up and ready to go. Gonna get some work done this morning, then we're gonna have a little family fun break, go to the farm with Bowie and Annalyn, feed some goats, and then we got another bit of work after the farm, and then tonight we're gonna have a little final dinner before Annalyn jets off before the sun is up tomorrow in true Annalyn fashion. She's got places to go, people to see, shit to do. So it's a quick trip, but it's been a really magical trip so far, so I'm really excited to see how today unfolds. Oh. What? Welcome to the studio. Oh, this is the Nene studio. Yes. It looks so professional. Yes. It's the good situation. I love the first thing I see on the wall is bucket. <laughs> Definitely a <laughs> Sinead. It's very oh. much my office. This is so cute. <laughs> We just got done with a little bit of work and I checked my phone and Matt Lanter sent me a text. Well, hello there. When did you get? Last night. Oh, wow. But I'm She's still- She's a jet setter. You know. So good to see okay. your face. Mwah. Mwah. Gonna go pull some tractors. It doesn't get more Southern than that. Oh, right. <laughs> Never gonna happen. It hurts. But are you gonna do that one? So it's a little early, that's why it's so dark. Easter morning, yeah. <laughs> you'll be seeing the sunrise on Easter morning, I'll be taking off into it. Um, I had a very quick whirlwind trip with my little Nene boo. Um, we got some fun stuff done. For now, I'm heading back to New York and I'm going to sleep on the plane. And I, <laughs> and I don't think Sinead's gonna sleep at all because I don't think I will. she doesn't sleep. I gotta go home and Egg hunt. Like, oh yeah, egg, bunny eggs. She has children. Well, child. half of a and child and, <laughs> um, and a half children. Easter's a big day for that. I'm gonna go do rebirth and renewal rituals, <laughs> where I cover myself in salt water and clear my aura. <laughs> okay, I love you. I love you so much. Miss Annalyn has been dropped off, and I need to race home be the Easter Bunny before Bowie wakes up ideally it's like 550 so she could wake up just before I'm back and we might have to get sneaky and creative with how to 
plant the eggs around the house, but I'm gonna try and get there. Just got home from the airport and she's still asleep, so the Easter Bunny has some work to do. I'm so tired. I'm really excited for her to wake up now. <laughs> like, hello, come on. She is going to be so sugared out by the end of this day. Good morning! Happy Easter! Look! Thank you. You're welcome, baby. I like the surprise. You like the surprise? Yeah, I'm Happy here. Easter. Happy Easter. Yeah. <laughs> we have photo equipment everywhere because we just finished another photo shoot. It's good. It's been a really busy work week. The weather is beautiful outside our window. Can you even see? Because it's so overexposed. It's beautiful. Just trust me. Yeah. Oh. Uh, lovely. Look at that. Scenic. Mm. Scenic and beautiful. We've learned our lesson and we are definitely going to prepare, prepare, prepare for the next crazy storm because I think we're still we in this like tornado season. Right we definitely need a better generator. Any recommendations, please comment below. We want a solar power one, probably. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to look into it more. I found another helmet at Target for Josh. So now we each have our own adult sized helmet. They please get no, it. I'll start the next episode with that on. Okay. Well, make some come back. Stay tuned watch, for it? that. You bet you can't <laughs> wait now, can you? Thank you guys for watching this video. As always, we are so, I don't know what my hand, I know you're like looking at my hand and what's it doing over here. I don't yeah, know what it's doing. It. It, yeah. I'm Italian. It's got a life of its own. He doing it. What? Oh. <laughs> Thank you for watching. We really appreciate having you a part of our familia. If you haven't already subscribed, definitely do that because you never know what headwear we are going to be wearing next week in next week's episode. I'm rambling. We love you. Goodbye.